Okay guys, here's a quick video to just explain to you how the loan works and how you have to figure out what the different amounts are there. So I'm going to break it down for you. You must be on your, in your textbook on page 136, looking at number 8, those amounts that they've listed there. I'm going to use them. Okay, so first of all, if you look at your loan at the beginning of the year, what was your balance when you began? Okay, you started with 390,000 Rand. Okay, that's what you started with. Then you know during the year some interest would have been added. And this is a standard format that you're going to use quite often now. So get used to it. Um, I don't think we have used it before, but now from here on forward, try and remember how this thing is set up. But it does make complete sense. It's very logical. What I started with, and now during this year, I'm going to add some interest to it. This thing is going to go grow but luckily during the year I did repay some of it and they've given you the amount there you've paid 136,500 you have paid back during the year so that's for this year how much you repaid back that 78,000 that they mentioned at the bottom has got nothing to do with this financial year that's for following year so the only relevance that has is for current portion of loan so we're not going to Look at the 78. But then I know that I've got an answer. My balance of my loan account at the end of the year is sitting on 310,500. Okay, that's what I end with. So during the year, I added something, which was interest. Luckily, I minus this and I ended up with 310. So you need to work out what the interest was for that. So what you would do is you work from the bottom to the top or jump between them. But I would start with 310,500. I would enter that to my calculator. I don't have my NAS calculator, so just be with this one. And then I would add plus 136,500. Okay, that means I had 447,000 there. That I, before I repaid it back, but luckily I knew I only owed in the beginning 390. So minus 390, if I only owed 390, that leaves me with 57,000 Rand that would have been for interest and nothing else. So this will go into your income statement under your interest expenses, 57,000 Rand. And then um, you need to know that that other 78,000 is going to go under note number nine and it's going to reflect as trade and other payables as a current portion of your loan. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. That's it.